Hello, my name is Mattiazzi, and I'm back with a new revolutionary plugin called Lightweight. Lightweight is a Max for Life plugin which enables easy playback of MIDI files from the Ableton device chain with the press of a single button. This is by no means a new concept, but I believe my device will be extremely useful to many people due to its compatibility with the MIDI extension and MIDI fire, and some general enhancements being made to how the device works. Lightweight's main attribute is the fact that it uses very little resources, primarily RAM, compared to its competitors. To use Lightweight in your own projects, simply drag and drop the device onto a MIDI effect track in the device chain of your lights track. When the device receives a note, it will play the loaded MIDI file to its output. You can chain more effects to process your MIDI afterwards if you wish to do so. You can keep your device file anywhere you want, but you should keep both the device file and your MIDI files inside the project file folder, which makes the project file extremely easy to share with other people. You also don't need to worry about saving or loading your lights, because Lightweight will save with your project file. Lightweight will always sync to your project's BPM when playing the lights. A new feature Lightweight introduces is the ability to choke light effects, which works just like choking samples in a drum rack. This allows for easily stopping playback of other light effects during a performance, as only one light effect can be playing at a time within a choke group. Though, unlike in the drum rack, choke groups are global and span across the entire project file, which is something to keep in mind while designing your light effects. It's easy to convert any MIDI extension project file in existence to Lightweight, thanks to its compatibility with the MIDI extension. Converted projects gain the ability to automatically save and load with the project file and can have their MIDI files migrated from the MIDIX folder to the project folder. To load MIDI extension projects with Lightweight, first open the project file with the MIDI extension and the MIDI extension master device files missing. Then, replace them with Lightweight and the Lightweight MIDIX loader respectively from Ableton Live's missing files panel. On the loader, select load to load the MIDIX save file from the MIDIX folder. Now the lights should be playable. If you want to migrate your MIDI files from the MIDIX folder to the project folder, make sure you've copied the lights folder to the project folder before proceeding. Select migrate on the loader and choose the copied lights folder inside the project folder in the dialog that appears. Lightweight should update to use MIDI files from the project folder instead when you do that. Once you're done, you can safely delete the loader and the project will be playable, easily shareable and will automatically save and load the lights. MIDI fire projects can also be converted to lightweight, although only the MIDI files will be loaded and no other setting because of the lack of support for them. MIDI fire is the better plugin in terms of versatility and features, though the issue with MIDI fire is that most of the time you're not using a lot of those additional features, and they end up wasting precious RAM and bloating your project unnecessarily. Lightweight can be useful here because it'll cut down the RAM on your MIDI fire projects by gigabytes. To load MIDI fire projects with Lightweight, first open the project file with the MIDI fire device file missing, then replace it with Lightweight from Ableton Live's missing files panel. Now the lights should be fully playable. I hope you've enjoyed this showcase of Lightweight's newest features and stay tuned for future updates.